Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? In NBA 2K24, you have to time your jump shots, but you don't have to time your layups. As you guys can see in the settings, when you go to shot timing, you can change it to shots only, and you will just get real player percentage for the layups. Now, which one is better? Because it's very debated. A lot of people say having your timing on will help you green more layups, and then other people say if you have your shot timing off, you'll be able to hit more contested layups, more open layups, as you guys are going to see. For the first gameplay, I'm using my high close shot big. I got a second gameplay where I'm using a high layup lock. And for the third gameplay, I'm using a build that has 25 close shot, 25 layup, but high standing dunk. Now, one question a lot of people has is if you turn off your layup timing, does that count for the post hooks? And no, as you guys see, I have my layup timing off, but I still have to time my post hooks. But for the first shot I took, I was holding up on my right joystick. My guy kind of did the close shot flick up move and it went in. It said open. I'm going to be taking a lot of bad shots throughout this video. This is not me trying to prove that you're going to hit open layups, open close shots, because those are always going to go in. What I'm curious about are the ones right there where it was a yellow contested layup. I didn't have to time it and it went in and moves like this where I'm drop stepping in the paint. He's kind of there. It's open, not wide open. And what I found as a big with high close shot, if you turn off your layup timing, anytime it says coverage open, even if it looks like they're there, that layup is going to go in every single time. There's no chance of you mistiming it. It's going to go in every single time. You're not going to get any very lates, very earlies, no matter what. So if you're somebody that does struggle to time open layups, which is very difficult, you know, it's a pretty big meter whenever you do have the layup timing on, but it is definitely still possible to miss. You can definitely turn it on just so you can be safe if you just like taking those open moves like I'm doing in this gameplay. But as you guys saw, I hit one yellow contested and then I missed two yellows and that's even with with the finishing takeover activated i'm showing some of this guy's takes as well because he's using the layup timing and i'm not in this gameplay and i'm just missing a few shots in this video i'm trying to take some red contested layups and close shots some yellow contested layups and close shots because if you're open pretty much whether you have layup timing on or off you're going to be able to make it now with having layup timing off as a big for close shots, it's going to be safer to hit opens because there's no chance of you ever mistiming it. So if that's what you're trying to go for, then definitely turn it off. When it comes to the contested close shots I'm taking, making, and missing, it's pretty much the same in my opinion. I don't really hit reds or yellows whenever I'm using layup timing, even with pro touch. And when it's off, it's the same situation. Yes, you're going to hit some every once in a while, but for the most part, it's just not a consistent shot. So for bigs, high close shot, whether you want to turn it off or on, that is up to you. Now for my next build, I'm using my lockdown with 80 driving layup, and I'm going to be taking some really bad shots with this. So once again, you know, I'm missing a bunch. That is on purpose. I'm trying to see if I can hit reds. And when it comes to hitting some contested layups, you're going to see right here, I do a scoop that looks like it might have been contested, but it said open. Now, there are some times where you go for a layup, you have a really big green window, and then it just shrinks down all of the sudden when you're not expecting it and you miss. Whenever you turn the layup timing off, it does make it where that's not going to happen. And it doesn't really matter what the contest looks like once again. If it says it's open, that is what the real player percentage is basing it off of. And I feel like layups are a little bit different than close shots. When it comes to layups with timing on, I'm actually pretty good at timing contested layups. I can get a lot of greens to go in as I miss a shot right here. I haven't missed a layup though, except for that contested close shot at the beginning. That was a 50% red contest. But you're going to see, I'm going to hit a lot of contested teardrops, a lot of contested floaters. And this guy, he was not liking my game plan of just forcing layups. He was definitely making me miss a lot. But I think there is more reason to turn off your layup timing if you're just going for layups a lot. Now, if you're good at timing them, if you got Pro Touch on Hall of Fame, you might want to keep it on. But check this out. I go for a teardrop, and you can see, man, yellow contest, a decently high yellow contest as well, but you're still getting that float game on gold. You're still getting that slithery boost. Check this out, too. I'm going to get past them, go up for a super kind of troll fancy layup. It's red contested. Those... I mean, they're never going to go in with layup timing on. You might get a few with layup timing off and check that out. That is a 37% contested acrobatic reverse. It's very frustrating whenever you see somebody hit one of those with no layup timing on. That makes you want to immediately go and turn off your layup timing because I'm sure you guys have taken the same takes and missed it because you had a microscopic green window once again. Going for the teardrop right here, but it's a red contest. 
sometimes those will go in people will make clips about them and people will be confused about this as you guys can see i hit a decent amount of yellows in this game but i mean i missed a lot of shots too i mean i'm not cutting anything out i don't care about the shooting percentage this is exactly what i'm trying to show you guys whether you have your layup timing off or on it's not gonna make it night and day difference of hitting contested layups I would probably say if you guys want to keep your layup timing on for high close shot builds and high layup builds just so you can utilize that Hall of Fame Pro Touch so you can kind of master the art of doing, you know, contested finishes in the paint, then you can do that. But to be honest, it's not really any different. You're going to pretty much hit them at the same exact rate. And people just take their layup timing off because it's pretty much the same. There's no big advantage of having it on so people just choose not to do it now in this gameplay the final one i have a build with high standing dunk and i have 25 layup 25 close shot early game i was forcing some red contested layups just to see by any chance if i hit one of course i didn't and when i'm under the paint with the high standing dunk i pretty much dunk it every single time now i get so many dunks toward the end i start just kind of letting go of rt so i make my player go up with a layup and you're gonna see when the coverage says open i hit them so if you have low layup low close shot you don't even want to even think about timing your layup you might as well turn it off i get body blocked right there because they're going to go in it's not like if you take your layup timing off you're just going to start missing opens they will go in every single time and you know even if you time it good you time it perfectly you're not going to hit the contested with a low finishing build with close shot and layup let me know what you guys think about having layup timing on compared to layup timing off i'm sure you guys want me to say one is way better than the other but they're pretty much the same this is tonic man i will catch you guys in the next one if you did enjoy the video if you want to drop a like subscribe of course i appreciate it a ton and i'm out peace